Hello everyone, welcome back, EV Geek Studios, Joel and Sebastian today, and we're gonna play around with a little toy that we have, I guess you'd call it a toy, with our, uh, which comes with Kias, uh, and show them that. So what do you have in your hand, Sebastian? Yeah, so this is the Hyundai Kia vehicle to load adapter. Vehicle to load adapter, correct. So explain real quick, exactly how vehicle to load works. Yeah, so V2L, V2H, V2X, there's a bunch of different acronyms. They technically mean that different things. V2L is vehicle to load, V2H is vehicle to home, V2G. V2X is vehicle to everything, V2G, vehicle to the grid, grid yeah. essentially all the same. So it's a method of taking power from your EV battery and outputting it to something that is not your EV. Gotcha. Um, and so we've seen a lot of systems like this before. So we've got this that the uh, Kia EV6, your EV6 came with. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think they come with this anymore. Anyway, oh. so you've got this. There's also systems that use like wall chargers and mm -hmm. transfer switches. Um, there's a bunch of different ways manufacturers are choosing to do it. The state of V2 everything in the EV space is super fragmented because yes. you have some manufacturers like Tesla who are outputting AC power. So they're using the vehicles inverter to off-put AC power like we do on the Cybertruck mm -hmm. to your house. So when you're just doing AC to AC in your house, you have things like Chevy and Ford, who if you use their wall um, wall charger to do the vehicle load, so the Ford, the uh, power ups, uh, no, power ups, the GM. What's the Ford one called? Oh, you would Pro ask Power. Me. Pro Power. Anyway, yes. um, it uses actually DC Yep. So the home charger has a CCS connection, so yep. that if power is lost, it actually offboards DC power from the vehicle battery to the wall and then to an inverter that's in your house all the time. And so by doing that, you can get like a lot, you can get more power on those vehicles than you can AC, although the GM vehicles also can yep. output AC power using like they sell an accessory that's a J1772 to essentially a power bar. Yep. Um, anyway, super fragmented. We've done an episode before talking about it. It might be worth talking about again because yep. it is just as fragmented now as it was back then. But we're doing this with the Hyundai one because we have Hyundai Kia cars, three Sonic. EGMP cars yes. out here. Uh, <laughs> and so this is my Ionic 5. And uh, yeah, we're going to just talk about this because this is actually kind of cool in the way that they, they give you the adapter or they used to give you the adapter and how it works. Um, so yeah, let's. Cut this, we'll move cameras around, and I think we can kind of show it off and talk a little bit more. See you in a bit. All right, so real quick, let's just take a look at this Hyundai Kia specific adapter. Also of note, there are other adapters you can get for Hyundai Kia cars. A to Z makes one. That's actually what I ordered for myself since mm -hmm. my car was used and it didn't come with this. Um, mine hasn't come in yet. I think yet. Electron makes here. one too. Electron makes yep. one. Um, anyway, but this is the Hyundai Kia version. So just looking at the adapter, you see you've got your J1772 in here. Surprise, that's a metal latch on I that. Know. Anyway, um, does have this little dust cap. And then you've got this side, which has a on off switch for your load. And then you pop that open and you've got a 15 amp, 120 volt US power plug. And it's actually interesting, I'm hoping the camera can see that, you've got ground plugs on both sides so that you can flip your cable around. Yep. I thought that was really neat. Doesn't matter which way you ground it, it works either way. And really on the Hyundai Kia stuff, operation's super easy. You have some settings in the car so you can change um, basically how low you want to let the battery get down mm -hmm. before it cut, turns off the glue to load. Yep. I have mine set to 20%, that's the minimum. Yep. Um, and really, setup is really easy. You open it. Yep. You Take the dust cap yeah, off. Yeah, take the dust cap off. So how much power do you say this will output? 15 amps. 15 amps. So, so if you're thinking, say, power goes out of my house, because this is what this is, this is what it can be used for. You know, the power goes out in your house, you have a car that's got a full battery in the driveway, you can now take some of that energy from the car and power things to your house. So with 15 kilowatt, what what can I power my house? Yeah, 15 amps, that 15 would be amps, about sorry, 1800 yeah. watts. Yep. So I mean, realistically, fridge, yep. freezer. Microwave? Uh, May, honestly, yeah. If it was the only thing maybe plugged in. I mean, gotcha. Okay, yeah. Because you've, if you've got 1,800 watts of power, as far as I know, this is a pretty pure sine wave inverter. Mm -hmm. Like it's a, you could use it to run home internet stuff or what. So realistically, I could have an extension cord coming out of this, maybe into a surge protector. And as long as you don't go over about 15 amps, you yep. should be good. And um, yep. You might find some weirdness. I think this uses a, it's a floating ground system. So if you have anything that needs an actual hard ground line, yep. it might not work. Like I think I've seen. 
some EVSEs work off of this, so you could use it to charge another car, but like the, the included Hyundai EVSE doesn't. Okay. Um, anyway, so plugged it in, you'll see now my pixels are flashing. We have 94% so state of charge is not a problem. Yeah. Um, you can see the pixels are flashing currently, and also when I plugged it in while you were talking, I heard contactors start clicking, the yeah. car woke up. And so from here, we just plug something in. Let's find something to plug in. What do we got over here? So Joel is about to grab, I think this is like the smartest thing I've ever heard of anyone using this for. Yep. He's got a vacuum. So you know how when you vacuum your car out and you're constantly fighting the cable Especially with this, this is a short cord and if I'm parked in a weird spot, I can't reach the outlets. Well, plug this in and now yeah. you have an outlet for anywhere. So yep. I'm going to plug it in. If you can see it. If I can find the hole. There we go. We're plugged in. And then you got hit this on, button yep. here on the end to turn it on. And you'll notice my pixels are now flashing downward to show that it's sending out power. Mm -hmm. There's a light on the top that just turned green and you should be good to turn that on. And I turned it back off. Yep. So, I mean, that's in and of itself. I mean, that's how simple this is to yep. set up. And then when it's done, you do have to unlock the car to get it. Even though the car is unlocked, let me be clear. Car it is, is open unlocked. and unlocked. You do have to hit the unlock button so that it will let go of the adapter. Uh, looking at this too, I like that it has this little cable cut through so you can actually seal this up closed. Because again, if you're using this outside or whatever, yeah. you could actually have this you know, protected from the elements. But so you just bought one of these adapters, A to Z. What do they run? So the A to Z one, I paid 70 bucks for. Okay. Now I had coupon code and a couple other things went into that. But um, I think the Electron one's 100 bucks. There's some on Amazon that are from typical Amazon brands that are yeah. all sorts of various different prices. Um, use that to what you will. Yep. Um, but we've used Electron and A to Z stuff before, and that's something that we can yeah. we can recommend. So yes. Yeah. And the Hyundai one, if you buy OEM, is about three hundred bucks. Like I said, this came with mine, but you see, they're no longer coming with but it. But as far as I know, they no longer come with it. Okay. And it's cool to note. So we have all three cars here. Yep. Your EV9 is native NAX. So Hyundai sells a NAX version of this. Really? So you can just have a straight connector, but you can also just use your J17721 yep. with a J1772 to NAX adapter, and it'll work. So all three of our all three of our eGMP cars here could charge it up. All right. So yeah, any questions? We'll drop a couple links to to some um, adapters that you know that we recommend in the video description. So just a quick overview of how vehicle to load works, especially if you have a Hyundai Kia car. So thanks for watching, and we will see you again on another EV Geek Studio video. So long, everyone.